Well, October is Breast Cancer Awareness Month. It's the second most common cancer among women in the U.S. And while the annual rate of deaths from breast cancer is declining, it remains a leading cause of cancer deaths among women overall. And early detection is really critical to uh, survive. Dr. Valentina Bonev is a surgical oncologist with Freslink. She joins us today with more in the battle against breast cancer. Thanks so much for joining us. You know, I think we so often hear about October being Breast Cancer Awareness Month and people wear pink and we see all these pink <laughs> ribbons. But in your opinion, is this still really important to get the word out this month? Absolutely. Breast Cancer Awareness Month is a reminder that one in eight women are going to be diagnosed with breast cancer in their lifetime. Mm -hmm. So this year alone, about 300,000 new breast cancer cases and actually men make up almost 1% of those cases. Mm -hmm. So this month is really important mm -hmm. for people to be aware of their breasts, how they look and feel. So mm -hmm. if they experience any changes to go see their doctor as soon as possible. Absolutely, because that early detection is so key. Um, can you give us some of the breast cancer risk factors? Because I feel like being a breast cancer survivor myself, I didn't feel mm -hmm. like I had the, you know, I wasn't really looking for it. I didn't expect it to happen to me. So a lot of people think, oh, my mom didn't have it, so I'm not going to have it. But there are a lot of risk factors that we should know about. Right. So most patients diagnosed with breast cancer actually don't even have a family history of it. The number one risk, risk factor is being female. The second mm -hmm. risk factor is increased age. The median mm -hmm. age of diagnosis is 62 years old. Other factors that you can't control are family history or inheriting a gene mutation mm -hmm. associated with breast cancer. Other factors, again, you can't control, like having dense breasts or a history of chest wall radiation at a young age. Mm. Factors that you can control include being overweight or obese, alcohol consumption, or hormone replacement therapy. Hmm, okay. And can, I mean, you mentioned these, but can pe women actually do something to lower their risk? I mean, I didn't really make up most of those. I mean, I was much younger than 62, no family history, but... Um, what are some of the things that we can do? So there's also unknown factors that we don't know about. So because of that, there's no one single way to prevent breast cancer. And again, mm -hmm. factors you can't control, such as your age or family history or having a gene mutation. But what you can do to lower your risk is having a healthy weight, re exercise regularly, limit alcohol consumption, and limit hormone replacement therapy. And what are some of the signs that women should be looking for? I was lucky enough to find my own lump mm -hmm. uh, and then went to the doctor, but what, what other things can women look for? So the most common presentation is a patient who notices a new lump or mass, mm -hmm. but look for that not only in the breast, but also under the armpit. Mm -hmm. Look for swelling of the breast or swelling under the armpit, mm -hmm. nipple discharge, nipple retraction or nipple inversion, as well as skin changes or skin thickening. Now, mm -hmm. these signs do not necessarily mean you have breast cancer. Mm -hmm. It could represent a benign or non-cancerous breast condition. Mm -hmm. but you need to go see your doctor if you have any of these signs just to make sure you don't have breast cancer. Okay, and you know, there's been a lot of talk about when women should be getting their mammograms, and unfortunately, a lot of women are being diagnosed much earlier. Right. When do you say, women should be getting their mammograms. So there are varying societies with different recommendations, but national guidelines recommend women start getting mammograms at 40 years old. Mm -hmm. And this is yearly mammogram. Now again, if you have a family history or a gene mutation, you may start getting mammograms in your 30s. So make sure you talk to your doctor and determine what's the right age for you to start mm -hmm. in addition to a routine breast exam. Mm -hmm. Now a lot of women may say, oh, well, I, I do my self checks you know, every month. I don't really need a mammogram, but that's not the case. Once you hit 40, they're really important. Right. Now, self-checks are important as well, but you need to make sure a clinician is doing a proper breast exam. Furthermore, the mammograms are especially important because breast cancer does not always develop as a lump or a mass, and only the mammogram will pick it up as a radiographic abnormality, mm -hmm. something that we can't even see on physical exam. Wow. So early detection is key, yes. and this leads to the best prognosis and survival. Wow. All right, doctor. Thanks so much for the insight, and everyone needs to remember this is October, Breast Cancer Awareness Month. One in eight women will be diagnosed. Okay, you can find much more information about Breast Cancer Awareness Month by going to kcalnews.com and clicking Scene on TV.